because voting is a basis of our representative system of government and ought to be preserved for all people. This bill is a disaster. The unfortunate reality is that this hearing is another attack on the Supreme Court, and this bill is yet another attempt at federal takeover of state and local elections. It wrestles control of elections away from the state and into the hands of the Biden-Harris Department of Justice and partisan lawyers backed by dark money groups. The Voting Rights Act guarantees the fundamental right to vote for all qualified voters regardless of race or language. The right to vote guarantees the protection of other rights. The law was necessary to address a shameful history. I have voted uh, to reauthorize the act. These factors don't provide any legal clarity. What they do provide is enormous opportunity for mischief by Democrat lawyers. If the activist lawyers, backed by an unending flow of dark money, can find a few violations under this amorphous standard, then a state is subject to preclearance. That gives DOJ control over jurisdiction for a period of 10 years. Representative Lewis, your participation in the Bloody Sunday helped uh, lead to enacting the law and creating your enduring place in history. Thank you for being here today. We should be pleased that our country has made advances in race relations since the Voting Rights Act was passed. The act contributed to the progress. No doubt, though, more progress must be made and should be made. Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson described the flaws in H.R. 4 and noted that, quote, this legislation is nothing more than an attempt to ensure that one party control the machinery of our government in perpetuity by mandating an unconstitutional federal takeover elections in our country, end of quote. I voted to reauthorize the Voting Rights Act. In fact, I remember as a new member of this committee in 1981 when the reauthorization was up, I think, for the first time. I went to Senator Biden and said, I'd like to help you. 